Get out of here, you're loud. Sweet, delicious light. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hope Saget. Today, I need to figure out the rear end. I have to do something with this rear end. I didn't show it, but last week I put that thing up on the table and did some preliminary measurements, preliminary measurements, and I don't like how far it pushes the wheelbase back. Um, I want the wheel a little closer to the to the chassis. So, methinks what I'm going to do is just recreate all the pickup points for the arms and the diff and build them out of tube. I'll save weight. Um, these arms will be stiffer. I'll have uh, heim joints connect them to the chassis so there's more adjustability. Um, and then I can scoot everything up a little bit more. Get it a little closer. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I do wish I had a, a cherry picker though. This thing's heavy as heck. Heavy as heck. Now if I take the uprights off and this off and the diff out, then I can then the subframe isn't too heavy. I can put it on the table and start uh, start mocking some stuff up. Oh, I don't know. I don't really know exactly how it's gonna go, but let's uh, let's go for it. Huh? Half of the stuff I actually mostly all of the stuff I do, I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of go for it. And you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, I can't do this. I don't know how to do that. I'm no good at this. I don't know what I'm doing." Well, who cares? No one knows what they're doing. You just go for it. You know, unless you do this all day, every day, you know, but the thing is, at some point, that person who does it all day, every day, just said, I'm going to try it, and they did, and then look, look what they're at, so you just have to go for it. Okay, this is getting a little cheesy. Um, I'm going to go. I need a scale. Let's see how much this thing weighs. I'm tube cutting. Okay, so this is uh, this is difficult, but I got this these plans online. I think I talked about them before. These voodoo voodoo kit plans are for a Haynes Roadster, so the chassis dimensions are slightly different. But um, this rear section, at least for the pickup points on the suspension arm, should be the same. So, like it tells you where the brackets should be, um, and it looks like my measurements on the subframe looks like they're cl they're close. It's hard to get an exact measurement without some uh, a lot a lot of work measuring these these weird points in space. So I'm gonna start cutting some tubes with these things and see how everything fits together. But they have their little, their own arms here. Um, I guess I could measure the distance. You know, make sure they're about the same size as the stock ones. Um, it's really weird here though. They got they don't have any. Uh, toe adjustment for this lower control arm it looks like it looks like these two back ones are just regular bushings they're not eccentric and they're not heim joints they got this guy up here that's for camber for the upper control arm but the lower control arm is where you get your toe from and I don't see nothing that doesn't make any sense that's kind of ovalized that would be camber though that wouldn't be toe I don't know see I don't know wait a minute well, that's a front control arm. This is a rear control arm. Yeah, they don't have any way to adjust toe that I could see. They're just regular round bushing tubes, both sides. Tube's done. This is going to be one of the one of the ones that goes front to back, and the lower control arm brackets will be there. I'll do another one of these over here, and then I think what they had done is they've they went on top of this bottom tube here, which will actually lower the chassis ride height an inch because you're lifting 
suspension up. I kind of like that. I might do that. I had to cut this one out because I made that from the that size I got from the book and it's not meant for independent rear suspension. These little one by twos here mount to another one by two that goes across this way and it's just the right height for the upper control arm brackets so I'm gonna cut that out and put a one by two going across there at the right height according to this other plan uh, you know what would have been real nice is to uh, design all this in a computer first but you know this is the kind of stuff you got to do if you don't do that if something's not perfect you just got to cut it out and do it again. Okay, so now this, this one here is going to be next. And I have a me I have the measurement from center line and from the bottom of this. So I could technically measure straight up from this guy. There's a little bit of gap under there though. Tiny gap. I didn't show all the boring measuring and light tapping with a hammer to try and get this thing perfect, but it's pretty damn close right now. I tell you what. I mean, pretty close. Nothing a little uh, adjustable suspension arm won't, won't take care of. Let's go ahead and tack this on before I bump it and move it. Oh, blind! Whoa. I was like, why am I so off? Pretty good, man. That's pretty close. I'll tell you what. Check this out. Lines up pretty good. I mean, I got 
I'm camered in a little bit, I think, but I, think I can work with that. Oh, this is gonna be so sweet. How sweet it is to build a low cost car. A little less negative camber. Some tubular arms and rod ends that are adjustable. Got a decent amount of space here for, for a uh, fuel cell. Custom made fuel cell on the cheap. Getting pretty excited. Didn't look like much, but took all day. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't, check out my Instagram, card.sick. It had some build pictures that you don't see in the videos, probably. With some other cool stuff that I, that I do once in a while. Also, I just gave out some stickers on there. Gave out some free stickers, so maybe you should go check it out. Bye-bye.